Hello everyone, I am Left, and today I would like to present to you guys my opinion on the Vainglory new optional joystick system that they are going to be releasing in 3.3. 3.3 is happening very soon, so I think it's important to um, get my opinion out there about the joystick system, talk about it a little bit, how it works, my experience with it, as well as what I think it's going to do for the game in general. There's been so much debate about this, so let's get into the video. So with update 3.3, Vainglory is adding an optional joystick control scheme. Now let me stress, just as they have been stressing in all of their social media posts, it's optional. Touch controls still exist, okay? There has been a lot of heated debate on Twitter, Reddit, and other forums as to whether or not this is a good thing for the game. And this video is going to be my full opinion on the subject. So if you want a TLDR, you don't want to watch the full video, in short, yes. The optional joystick mode is a very good thing for Vainglory. Now, if that's all you were here for, you can stop watching. But if you want to hear the rest of my thoughts, stay along. Honestly, it's time for us veteran players to drop the act of control scheme puritanism and, and accept that not every player is as competitively driven as ourselves. Simply put, touch controls as we have now are very off-putting to a lot of the casual crowd. They're ahead of their time. When I tried to get my friends into Vainglory, the responses I got were things like, it's too hard, I can't get into it, and it's too complicated to use. After this, they deleted Vainglory and pro promptly went back to playing Clash Royale. The addition of joystick mode is the rectification of one of Vainglory's long-standing problems, that the learning curve is too steep for the casual player. Now, for me, and for, I, I know, probably a lot of you, that is what made Vainglory better and more interesting to learn. But not everybody is like you and me. We are, in fact, the minority, and you can see that reflected in our game's revenue and player count compared to Arena of Valor. The addition of the joystick should help Vainglory to either in part or in full overcome these long-standing obstacles to its growth. And for the people who somehow think that once the optional joystick mode gets added, Vainglory is not going to be Vainglory anymore, you can take that and shove it, because like they've been saying in every single social media post about the joystick mode, yes, touch controls still exist. And honestly, the touch controls are still better. Like, I've played the joystick mode on the PvE. Touch controls are still, in my opinion, more precise, they have a higher skill ceiling, and I don't think any pros are ever going to be changing over to the joystick just because the touch controls are still way more precise. So, last thing, but really, is the joystick actually good? I can attest personally to the fact that the joystick is way better than the AOV joystick, um, AOV being Arena of Valor. Vainglory's new joystick system does something that no other similar system, whether that be Arena of Valor or Mobile Legends, has ever done, and that is precise targeting to allow perfect last hitting. In AOV, like, I remember one of my main complaints playing AOV is that if there's a hero near my tower that I'm defending, it won't even let me target minions to last hit. It, like, automatically forces me to hit the hero instead, and I'm like, okay, so how do I farm? It's just kind of throwing me around to different targets, and I can't actually choose what I want to hit. So... That has been completely done away with, with the Vainglory um, joystick system. Like, the targeting is just bad in AOV, so much so that they had to make it so that you get gold even if minions don't fall to your last hit. Like, if the turret kills a minion in AOV, you get gold for it. Like, I mean, it just kind of sucks. So with the new Vainglory joystick, the targeting is fluid and precise, and the basic attacks are, I don't know, it's just, it's just not like AOV, it's way better. It lets you last hit just like you would with touch if you are skilled enough with the joystick. Now, some heroes are really, really, really awkward with the joystick. Like, some of those would be Kestrel and Celeste, I felt like, were very awkward with the joystick controls. But then others were, like, super fun to use with the joystick. Like, one of those, for sure, for me, was Lance. Um, it felt, so, like, I've, I think I've talked about before, like, when Lance first came out, myself and a lot of the pro players were like, holy cow, this hero is so innovative, I feel like I'm playing Dark Souls instead of Vainglory. When you're playing Lance on joystick, that feeling is, like, double. Now, I would still play Lance on touch over joystick, just because I feel like I'm better on touch, 
but still, like Lance is really fun on the joystick. You gotta tr- you gotta try him out. So the joystick may not be every current player's favorite thing in the world, but honestly, in my opinion, you'd be a fool to see the joystick as a negative for the game in general. To round out this video, I'd like to give you guys the PSA that Vainglory put in their um, joystick like announcement post. So let me just say, the joystick controls are still early access. Um, it says, while they will be available for everybody to experience, they may not work exactly as intended. You might encounter bugs or find that the joystick is just not your thing. There are plenty of things that might make this not quite right yet, and that's fine. If you're not feeling it, you can switch back to touch controls at any time during the game. However, please give the joystick controls a try. We're counting on your feedback to squash all the bugs and make improvements before its summer launch and debut in update 3.4. So you can enable and disable the joystick controls in-game, like as you play. Um, I know from my testing in PvE that there were a few things wrong with certain like heroes and the joystick, any interactions and stuff like that. So please do help SCMC to make the joystick controls as good as possible, report any bugs that you see, and um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Keep cheering for Nova in the esports side of Vainglory, and yeah.